ecological restoration and habitat preservation. They do the time of day, season, and your powers of observation will shape what you see and how you see it. Welcome to the Hopper Portal. My name is Sunny, and this is Chi Dog. For each destination on the Hopper Portal, I'll describe amenities, learning opportunities, and special features for each stop as Chi and I visit different places on our travels. Each stop is unique, but two things all Hopper Portal stops have in common is that they're all free for visitors and they each provide opportunities to learn about the area's ecology and the natural world. When you're exploring the Hopper Portal, look for the Grasshopper Rating System, with five grasshoppers being my favorites. These ratings are determined by accessibility, special features, and educational value for each location. When you're on the Hopper Portal found on grasshopperslanding.com, you can click on the grass tufts to learn more about each site. The Albany Pine Bush Preserve does have a variety of trails. Immediately surrounding the Discovery Center is a really lovely, universally accessible trail. And then if you come to the Trailhead 1 Carner Brother or Carner Barons Trailhead kiosk, there's a map that shows you the broader overview of the acreage that is owned and operated by the Pine Bush Preserve Commission. And you can see trails go from the point to or approximately quarter mile Discovery Trail surrounding the Discovery Center. There's also blue, yellow, and green trails that range from 0.9 miles to up all the way up to 2.1 miles. And if you look at the map here, you can see that you can mix and match and you can choose your own adventure. And there's many opportunities for exploration. We're gonna go in and we're gonna check out this trail. Uh, this trailhead is actually the beginning of all three. Just to do a quick exploration of the, the trails before it gets too dark. This park tells a great story about wildlife navigating urban environments. They also do a really good job at stewarding incredible habitat in every square inch that they possibly can. They take every opportunity to educate the public and people of all ages about environmentally sound practices. And that includes from their outdoor bathrooms where they have composting toilets in place to what they consider their green lot parking lot where they provide many signs about the sustainable choices they made when building and designing the parking lot. They also do a wonderful job telling the story about the choices that they've made in managing the land. For example, even the walkway here, the material that they chose is solid and stable. It's perforated or it provides a surface where water could actually seep through and, and reach the ground, whereas many asphalt or concrete walking surfaces do not allow water to permeate through or percolate into the ground. Hey everybody. I apologize for the sound quality in this one. It was a windy day. Thanks for watching. to make it to the Albany Pine Bush Discovery Center before sunset. Although I was not able to make it before the beautiful Discovery Center building closed down for the evening at four o'clock. It is open Monday through Friday, but I knew that I wanted to check out some of the trails. Anyways, while I was passing through town, I thought I would still stop by.
can hardly wait to come back to the Albany Pine Bush Preserve uh, and Discovery Center to explore more of the trails and to check out the Discovery Center itself when it's open. I came back to the truck to see if Chi wanted to join me for a walk because leashed dogs are permitted on many of the trails here but he was more interested in staying behind and staying cozy and eating his food. So we're just gonna get back on the road and absolutely put a pin on this location and come on back when we're in the area. It's a really swell place. We had a great time. Whether you be passing through the area, live in the Albany metro area, or are within a couple of hours drive, it's a really great place to visit. There's also lots of incredible outdoor education type programs for all ages. Check out the website to check out the schedule of events and to learn more about the program offerings here. We look forward to returning five out of five. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, a great way to support our channel to like, subscribe, or share our content. If you have the means, feel free to make a financial contribution Buy me a cup of tea or chi a bone by donating on grasshopperslanding.com. Have a great day!